Hi you guys, so sorry for our appearance. We were really lazy, we didn't feel like putting any makeup on, so we just decided to film this video bareface. We are filming a haul for you guys. We went to the Topanga Mall yesterday to meet up with AK Doll, and we wanted to pick up a few things while we were out there for IMAT. She was really, really sweet when we met her. Yeah, she was really cool. Yeah. I feel like she was like us, pretty mm -hmm. much. Like, sh the things she said were things we would say. <laughs> yeah. So let's just get into the haul. So the first place we went to was H&M. So I guess the first thing I got were just these um, over-the-knee socks. It's not focusing, but yeah. They're just black, and they're really... Well, I haven't even tried them on, so <laughs> let's hope they look good on my legs. In our What We Got For Christmas video, I mentioned uh, that skater skirt I got and how it was too big, so I decided to pick up a black one that would fit perfectly and I'm gonna wear it with that lipstick shirt that I got for IMAX so this is really cute. So the second place we went to was Love Culture and we got, I mean when do we not get the same things? <laughs> Just because we're like twins and we look good in the same thing so. We got these shorts and they're high-waisted yes, and super they're super cute because they have these like, rips in them and on the back too. And they look really nice on. Yeah. And then I also got this just black crop top in there. It was really cheap, but it looked really cute on. And it feels really nice, so I thought, why not? And the last thing I got, I stopped by Sephora because if you guys didn't know, my birthday is January 15th, which is next week. And um, Sephora always gives out like a little birthday goodie. So I picked up the Makeup Forever Professional like Happy Birthday gift. And it comes with a mascara and a lipstick. The mascara is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant, and I think that's new. I'm going to try that one. Yeah, and then this little lipstick in the color N9, I believe, and it's just this really pretty neutral mm. pink. So yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. So the last store we went to is called Alley Fashion. I don't even... It was trying to be similar to Brandy Melville, so I feel pretty bad for Brandy Melville because the store was just trying to be something it's not. And I just got this dress that I thought would be really cute to wear to IMATS. And it just has this floral print on it. And it's like blues and grays and purples. And I really like all of those colors together. Mm -hmm. And it fits really nice. It's like fitted and then it flares out like yeah. at the bottom. So that was it for our little haul. Now we're going to get into a little informative video about IMATS. So this is our third year going to IMATS LA and we originally planned to go both days but there was a bit of a problem. <laughs> okay so apparently everyone wanted to go to IMATS this year because the when I went to go buy my ticket the two-day tickets and the one-day ticket for Saturday was sold out so I was only able to get a one-day ticket for Sunday so yeah, well, Kelly had her two-day ticket. Well, I mean, she still does, obviously. Yeah. And I only have a ticket for Sunday, so we came up with a plan. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get ready super early, and we're going to get there super early so we can be waiting in line so that Kelly can be one of the first people to go into the convention. And then she's going to get in line <laughs> in a couple lines to yeah. get us some things that we know are going to be sold out on Sunday. And I'm going to give her money to go get things for both of us. And then she's going to come out in like an hour. Yeah. And we're just going to hang out in L.A. Mm -hmm. Just kind of walk around and maybe check out some shops and go yeah. eat lunch. We're going to go on the second day. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So let us know if you, any of you guys are going to go because we would love to like meet you guys and stuff like that. And I think we're going to get into some of the products we want from yeah. IMATS. So I think the first thing on our list for both of us would definitely have to be the Sigma Sigmax Kabuki kit because I think for the past two years we've, we've been wanting to get that every single time but it's always been sold out or there's always been a really long line. Yeah, so we the lines get super long at Sigma, like around the center. Mm -hmm. And then we also want to get like some Makeup Geek products. We want to get um, a couple of her pigments and a couple of her eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. And especially the pigments in Utopia and Insomnia. Yes. Those look so beautiful. 
And then we also want to stop by OCC, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, and get the Black Dahlia Lip Tar. It is so beautiful, so yes. we are really excited to get that. It's gorgeous. And then we also want to get um, a couple Lime Crime lip products, mm -hmm. like their um, Velveteens in Red Velvet. Those look super beautiful, yeah. and we really want to try those out. And then also their lipsticks, the one in Poisonberry, mm -hmm. and I, th I think Serpentina, like the green one, is so gorgeous, and I really want to try that out. And then, of course, we have to stop by Crown Brushes. Now, every single year, we always get a ton of brushes, and I think... I think it's just like a necessity to have as many brushes yeah. as possible. Like we don't think you can never have enough. Yeah. So um, we definitely want to get like a bunch. I think we both have around like 20 on our list. It's yeah. good because like they're cheap, but they're still really good quality. Like I use them all the time. Mm -hmm. We also really want to get more Naked Cosmetics pigments. We really like those. Like we don't really use them as <laughs> often as like other eyeshadows, but I think that's just because we're always like in a hurry when we do our makeup, so we don't really want to have to deal with like being careful with the pigments, yeah. but they're just so beautiful. Like there are so many beautiful colors and they're very nice. And I think the last thing that we definitely need to leave with after eye mats is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to get it Saturday when I walk in. So I think we're going to stop by Mimi's, which is like a little discounted beauty center pretty close to the IMATS Convention Center. So we're probably going to stop by after I leave IMATS on Saturday. Wanting it for so long because we hear so many people talk about it, but we don't have it. So we kind of need it. So that was it for the video. If you have any questions about IMATS LA or anything regarding IMATS LA, um, don't be scared to like comment. We like talking to people. Mm -hmm. Or you can talk to us on Instagram or Twitter at jkbd08. So if you aren't following us on either of those social media websites, go ahead and follow us. And if you guys already aren't, go subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>